Number 5. Elon Musk's Tesla in Space Could Crash into Earth Earlier this month, Elon Musk's SpaceX launched its Falcon Heavy rocket into space, and with it, a red Tesla Roadster. The vehicle is now floating in space with a mannequin dressed as an astronaut in its front seat. But there's a chance its peaceful orbit could be interrupted one day by colliding with a planet in our solar system. It could even come crashing back to Earth. Researchers from Toronto and the Czech Republic have crunched the numbers and determined that Musk's Tesla has a 6% chance of crashing into Earth over the next 1 million years. The first close encounter, they say in a paper published Tuesday, will occur later this century, in 2091. And if the car doesn't crash into our blue planet, they estimate it has a 2.5% chance to instead strike Venus sometime over the same time frame. We did not know what to expect because other near-Earth objects we see in space are asteroids and typically come from further out in the solar system. Hanno Rain, one of the authors of the paper based at the University of Toronto, told the BBC, In this case, it's the reverse. We know the object comes from Earth, so the question is where it will go from here. Rain and his co-author's calculations show additional close encounters with Mars as well as the Sun though actual collisions are very unlikely, they estimate. And even if a collision does occur, it won't be for a long time, the researchers predict. We estimate the dynamical lifetime of the Tesla to be a few tens of millions of years. Number 4. Chinese Space Station Sometime in March, a streak of fire will cross the sky as the Chinese space station Tiangong-1 falls out of orbit. But where it will fall, or how much of it will fall, nobody quite knows. Recent analysis by the Aerospace Corporation in California concludes that it will fall to Earth in mid-March, give or take two weeks. On September 30, 2011, Tiangong-1 became China's first space station. There were only two manned missions to the 8-ton, 12-by-3.3-meter station. However, in March 2016, Chinese officials announced they were no longer tracking the station. Its orbit would begin to decay and the station would burn as it falls to Earth. Due to several unknown elements, such as Tiangong-1's orientation as it orbited and even the density of the Earth's atmosphere in a particular location, it's difficult to say precisely where or when it will fall. The good news is that most of the station will burn up during re-entry. However, there is a chance that small debris may reach the ground. Number 3. One-ton satellite falling to Earth A one-ton satellite is falling out of control and is likely to crash into Earth sometime during the weekend, scientists have warned. The Gravity Field and Steady State Ocean Circulation Explorer was launched in March 2009 to study changes in sea level, ocean circulation, and the planet's gravitational field. It has now run out of fuel and is spiraling back to Earth. The European Space Agency says it cannot predict exactly where or when, but that it is highly unlikely to cause any casualties. Number 2. India's First Lunar Probe India's first lunar probe was found orbiting the moon eight years after losing radio contact and may hit Earth in 2020. India's first lunar probe, Chandrayaan-1, has been found orbiting the moon eight years after it lost radio contact. The spacecraft was found 200 kilometers above the lunar surface by NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in California. Chandrayaan was India's first mission to the moon and was launched in 2008. After 3,400 orbits around the moon, communication with the probe was lost in 2009. We have been able to detect NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and the Indian Space Research Organization's Chandrayaan-1 spacecraft in lunar orbit with ground-based radar. Marina Brozovic, a radar scientist at NASA and principal investigator for the test project said, according to the Hindustan. Although it has been found, it is still not in radio contact with ground stations and is not transmitting data. 
Some people believe that this would hit Earth sometime in 2020, the paper reads. Number 1. UFO Heading Towards Earth The European Space Agency's Paolo Nespoli shot video of a bright ball of light outside the ISS on November 5, 2017, prompting his scientist colleagues to describe it as a fireball and could hit Earth. But alien hunters said it was an alien in origin, and have seized upon the sighting as proof of a gigantic cover-up. The fiery ball of light was traveling at about 89,478 miles per hour when it hit Earth's atmosphere, which is about twice as fast as most meteorites, according to ESA. Let me know what you think. Will this hit Earth, or will it pass by Earth? Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy the video, please let me know by clicking the like button. Do share, and don't forget to subscribe so that you can catch up my next video.